conversations. Uh, for the record, Mr. Steckel is Definitely present. Okay. Uh -huh. well, um, this this is the case involving uh, the chief of police of the city of South Miami, Orlando, Martinez de Castro. If you recall, there was uh, a case that uh, that I filed against the chief because he his department was doing business with a tag agency that his wife owns called uh, Airways Auto Tag, and the, that was three counts of that. They did business three times with that with that company, and the fourth count was an exploitation uh, count where he had sent an email on his city owned. Uh, computer to uh, a business contact basically soliciting business for his wife's other company, uh, Beck and Lowe's Insurance Company. Um, subsequently, there was uh, much uh, to do in the city of South Miami over this, and uh, the, the mayor got involved. There's there's a push to uh, to have the chief uh, fired. There's there's other issues going on in the city of South Miami. So we've been trying to work out some sort of a settlement agreement that uh, that everybody would be happy with. I'm sure there'll be some people who are still not happy with whatever we come up with. But uh, at the end of the day, what we've what we've come with is a, an agreement by the chief to uh, plead no contest to counts one, two, and three. Those are the three counts of doing business with the wife's company. And he will pay um, investigative costs of $1,000 uh, with regard to those three counts and get a letter of instruction. And with regards to, uh, I'm sorry, that's the thousand dollars is only count one, and then with counts two and three, it's uh, five hundred dollars per count. So a total of two thousand dollars of costs, and and a letter of instruction. Uh, that's the settlement that we've come up with for various reasons. I know Commissioner Addy, you just commented on people, you know, wanting to kind of cherry pick uh, the language that goes into certain orders, and believe me, it's it's frustrating for me and for Miriam and, and everybody that that people want to do this. But uh, the reality is that there is a uh, a personnel matter going on with the chief in the city, and. You know, for instance, if we use the word fine in this settlement agreement, that will impact his, his personnel proceeding or, or could possibly impact his personnel proceeding. So his request was like, look, I don't mind paying you money. Can we call it investigative costs instead of fine? Uh, I've gone back and forth uh, on this, uh, and uh, at, at this point, Having looked at the case overall, as you might remember, there's kind of two levels of, of guilt in this case. The one is just that he did business with the wife's company, so that in and of itself is a violation. The second level would be if he knew about it, if he intentionally did it, we could raise the, uh, the stakes and, and, and charge him a higher uh, fine. Uh, and obviously it would be worse if he intentionally knew about it. Uh, during the discovery that we've been doing so far, I can tell you that uh, I feel pretty confident that we could prove that he knew about it, uh, because his excuse that he didn't is kind of lame. But uh, there's certainly a, uh, let's call a blue wall surrounding the chief, and you know none of his colleagues and underlings are going to give up the chief, and, and they're going to protect him uh, at every step of the way. It's become quite evident that that's what's going to happen. So if we went to a public hearing, it would be long, it would be arduous. Uh, I'm sure I'd win in the end, but uh, I, I don't think that the public is served by, by, by dragging this process out any further. Uh, I'm willing to go along with the settlement if you are. How does your client feel about it? First of all, with regard to um, Mr. Mirowski's factual analysis, obviously I dispute that. I think that where the, this to be litigated is different. I'm sorry. Was submitted their definition. However, he is correct in the sense that this would be a very, very long and complicated proceeding based upon the information that he and I have been going through, taking depositions and throughout the discovery process. And were we to continue, there are still quite a few number of witnesses that would still need to be deposed. It would be, it would be pretty lengthy, pretty time consuming, and pretty expensive. However, um, uh, although Mr. Murawski and I have had extensive discussions about the possibility of resolving this, uh, today um, we have not actually reached a meeting of the minds at all with regard to this until perhaps this morning outside in the hallway. Uh, and Mr. Murawski has now given me an agreement which uh, I believe would be palatable to my client, as well as there were two of the lawyers who were involved in this matter. I am here by myself today. I, I've tried to reach my client and the other two lawyers, I have not been able to reach them. I believe that this will be uh, a means of resolving this case. However, what I would ask the panel to do is, uh, I was told when I was sitting here that the next commission meeting is on June 13th. Um, I'd like an opportunity to sit down with my client, go over this, as well as the other two lawyers, bring it back before you at that point, and I think at that point this case could probably be resolved. 
uh, favorably to all parties concerned. I think that that's best, but then given you the fact that you haven't been able to consult What's my understanding? Uh, the, 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 the client. Uh, that's fine, so we'll be back on June 13th? Yes. I think that was the date that I was told. And, uh, and unless we lose one more commissioner, that does will that likely be the date. Does that, does that then <laughs> that's mean the second that, Thursday. that the respondent is requesting a continuance? Yes, yes. I'm requesting a continuance. Yes. So we do have a, a motion for, is it both of you, a joint motion for it? No, do you oppose it? Joint. Uh, I, I just want to make the record clear. I, I, I was under the impression that we had gone over this and that uh, this was going to be a done deal today. Okay. So I'm hearing this for the first time that it's not. But uh, in any event, this is the final offer. So we've been going back and forth a lot, and I've told Mr. Uh, Mr. Steckel, you know, this is it. So you either take this deal, or the next thing is we're going to depose the chief, and okay. I know the chief doesn't want to be deposed. So a motion for continuance. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Um, so, so move to uh, grant respondent's motion for second. So we have a motion and a second to grant uh, respondent's motion for continuance in 1231. All in favor? Uh, Aye. All opposed? Any opposed? Nay. Uh, one, uh, one opposed? Uh, uh, Commissioner Addy. Uh, do we have any old... Oh, 